Okay, there we go. The only reason I haven't opened the Sunset Edition Bronco is because 50 miles away, this little $5.99 gem, I, uh, I really didn't have much use to open it. I mean, I love the thing, I love the colors. These right here, I still haven't drove the, <laughs> the Land Rover. Oh, now I'm losing clips. Who does that? Seriously? Okay, me. Anyway, I love the Land Rover. As a matter of fact, the GoPro Hero Black Edition 5 that I got strapped to my forehead, I traded my silver Landy for this GoPro, which, because I lost the other GoPro, my GoPro Hero Black 4 Plus, yeah, I lost it in the same 50 miles away. I was hanging out with the guys from the hobby shop, and as a matter of fact, I was in the park. Well, I was by myself, but hanging in the same park that we all hang in. And I, uh, unfortunately, when I crammed it in my back pocket, I got a line, I got it, I turned the camera on, I got the line again, it was with my SCX-10 too. Got the line again. Well, I had it on, uh, I had it static sitting down. I had it on a mount like this. Well, I folded it up, or I stuck it in my back pocket. I folded it up, I took off running. Well, when I got to the car, I was all excited about getting the line, because, I mean, the line's just shy of impossible. So I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty stoked. Well, I drive 50 miles back home, I get home, I'm unloading everything, and it, it dawns on me. I, I don't have my GoPro. So, we all hop in the car, drive another 50 miles back down there. And sure enough, have it that $500 gone. <laughs> my bad, lesson learned. So, so uh, this GoPro right here, it cost me a silver Landy, which kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. A little bummed about it still. But, that's okay. I got the red one. I'll buy another silver one later. It's all good. Not a problem. Oh, we're upside down? I bet we're upside down, aren't we? Uh, of course we are. Oh. So awesome. Okay. There's that. Wow. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> that is radical. I am not gonna lie. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have a red edition, but it, to me, it's not the same. I just, it's all about the sunset. Hence that body right there. That is a Bronco body. And as a matter of fact, it's a factory Bronco body. So, we peel everything off of that, put it on that, buy a set of sunset stickers. What do we got? We've got two sunsets. Poof, done. Why the sunset? Uh, probably because I like the colors. It's just, it's a beautiful body. Oh wait, so is the red one. Same, same. It's just the colors, man. I like the colors. It's colorful. I like the colorful. Colorful is good. All right, let me drop that stuff back in there. Hopefully this camera's aimed right and I'm not looking at the ceiling or the floor or the whatever. Yada, yada, yada. Sunset. Sunset edition. Here's our, here's our 81 mile an hour rusty. Tee hee hee. So bitchin. Tires are balanced now. Not that they're, not that they're perfectly balanced, but they're balanced enough now that when I spin them up with the air compressor, I got no vibrations. So we're all good to go there. Anyway, long story short. Oh, oh hell, the mighty sunset. <laughs> The hard part for me, you know, I took this out, I took this bad boy out and I drove it and the dust, it left marks in the paint. I'm like, holy Hannah, seriously? I mean, don't get me wrong, I rolled this one over, I beat on it a little bit. I mean, so, you know, whatever. I'll keep this body for scale trail driving. We'll beat it a little on the scale trail, but 
for the most part. She's still super clean. Body still looks really good. I mean, I don't know. It was really weird right here on the... It's like there's a coating on the... You can't touch it because, I mean, uh, instantly you scratch it. So I don't know really what the heck's going on with the stickers. Kind of weird. I don't know. Anyways, whatever. I'll buy the $10 sticker set. I'll, maybe I'll just leave this body like it is. Buy that body and then just slowly start piecing it together. and Yeah. Make it a sunset. That way I have a backup sunset. This one, I'm afraid to even open this one and touch it. Because, I mean, you can't rub the paint anywhere you... Or, I mean, you can't rub the, the plastic. Because anywhere you rub the plastic, what happens? It leaves scratches. Okay, I understand it's an RC car. It's meant to be beat on. It's meant to be, you know, driven. It's meant to be enjoyed. But... Oh, so sexy. Oh, sexy. I love it. I'm not gonna lie. You know, as much as I love Chevy, as much as I really don't love Ford, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Ford, but not like I like Chevy. Because Chevy, you can fit anything from a 283 to a 572 cubic inch engine in pretty much the same engine bay. On a Ford, I don't know if you can do that or not, because, well, Ford's not my favorite. But General Motors, GM, everything everything fits. This fits, that fits. I mean, it's, I don't know. Hence the reason why I'm cheap and drive a Chevy. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not rich enough to afford a Ford. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Uh, let's do... Um, I guess we will... Do I have rechargeables in there? Oh, wrong one. Nope, obviously not, because I just pulled it out of the box, duh. Alrighty then, I guess we're going to go Sam's Club uh, Members Mark. Got to save the Duracells for the speed run on the Rusty. Once I, uh, once I top the Rusty out, as far as that goes, speed run wise, I'm going to, once, once I flog the Valenian system for whatever it's worth, whatever I can get out of it, I'm going to, uh, I know this is for the Bronco, but still, I'm going to put these bad boys on here, these S3 Banditos on here because they're super light. I mean, they're all wheel. The tires do grow quite a bit, but I'm gonna see if I can't, uh, I'll buy the 17 millimeter adapters and see if I can't pull out, you know, three, four or five miles an hour just running a lighter weight wheel than these monsters. I really wish the 3.0 on the inside of the wheel, I wish the outside was a 3.0 because these would be the ultimate tire. Anyway, long story short. Oh, I'm breaking stuff. Here we go. Let's do this. Drop that in there. Drop that in there. Drop that in there. That in there. Put that on there. Give it some life. It has life. All right. Parallel connector. So we can leave that over here. Oh, that still attracts us. Hmm. That's terrible. What do we have here? Um, so what do I need? Traxxas. I need a Traxxas. I don't even know if I have, I actually have a plug to run it now. Now that I have everything's <laughs> all XT60s. I need a Traxxas. Yeah, I need this right here. Okay, here we go. Oh, I lied. I need the opposite. Where's it at? Unless I don't have it anymore. I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere. I need... Which one is this? My 25C? Yeah, 25C. Okay. Here we go. We got this. Dean's. I need a Dean's mail. Alright. What the heck did I do with the Dean's mail? Is it already on my Bronco? It's probably still on my Bronco. Duh. There it is right there. Alright, fair enough. I lied. We'll just jack this connector and call it. Call it good. Ha! Kitties and beer. Woohoo! I guess we'll leave that there. Plug this bad boy in here. Set this here. Set this here. Run this here, run this over here. 
flip this around so that we're right polarity. Yeah, okay. I probably should have took the tag off. Fine. We'll take the tag off. Done. Okay, one more time. Light a fire in the remote. Light a fire in a truck. Okay, steering works. Well, it works. She's been sitting in box a while, hasn't she? Whew. Flat spots. Alrighty. Second gear. Second gear works. Okay, here we go. Front diff lock works. Back diff lock works. We are good to go. Okay, that's it. I'm happy, totally happy.